So basically, it was just like literally. I mean, you know, like like um. Wait, what? Hey humans, I'm Amanda Montel, and this is The Dirty Word, where sex and language get it on. Today, I thought we would do something a little bit technological. Today, I thought I would play with and review a new language app that I recently discovered and thought was pretty interesting. Just last week, I was introduced to this app called Like So. What the app does, and I quote, is to help people speak articulately, confidently, and without filler words. So those are words including like, literally, I mean, you know, actually, words that people tend to associate with young, inarticulate teenagers. Actually, the woman who founded the app was inspired by her own teenagers, who she felt like used too many of these filler words and sounded sort of unprofessional and ineloquent because of that. She wanted to come up with a way to help them and other people practice getting out of the habit of saying like and literally and you know every other word. So before I test out the app itself, I want to say just a couple of things about filler words. So there are actually two kinds of filler words. There's uh and um, which are used exclusively to fill pauses in conversation when you need to take a moment and think about what you're going to say next. But there are also discourse markers, and these are those words and phrases like like, you know, I mean, basically. Most people think that these words are just mindless flubs, but some research shows that they actually might have a more complex utility in conversation. For example, some research shows that using discourse markers is associated with the personality trait of conscientiousness. In other words, conscientious people might use discourse markers to imply that they're open to sharing or even rephrasing their opinions. Other research shows that the discourse marker you know specifically is intended to confirm that a listener understands what you're saying. It's also shown that women in their late teens and early 20s use more discourse markers than anyone else. So filler language might not be as dumb as people think. That said, maybe you have a job interview or something like that where you don't want to seem overly conscientious. Maybe you want to seem authoritative and concise. In a situation like that, I can see an app like this being insightful. So let's give it a try. First, the app has you record yourself. You can either choose to do this freestyle, which means you can talk about whatever topic you want, or you can choose a prompt, which might make it easier to come up with something to say. I'm going to choose a prompt, and they invite you to select a topic. There are a number of topics here. The interview, speed dating, debate team, pop culture favorites. I think I'm going to choose speed dating. Why not? Getting a little flirtatious. So then you can choose how long you want to spend answering each question. I'm going to choose 30 seconds because we don't have all day. And then you can choose which filler words you want the app to listen for in your speech. We have actually, you know, whatever, like, totally, okay, I mean, just literally, sorry, so basically anyway, right. So if you know you have a problem repeating one of these words over and over again, you can just select for that to see how many times you say it in conversation. I'm going to select listen for all words. Start, get ready, boop, three, two, one, ah, okay, go. Do you have a pet? I do have a pet. I have two pets. Um, they're both cats. Their names are Claire and David, which I know are very human names, but I think it's dignified. Much more dignified than a name like Sprinkles or Cupcake. Uh, I love my pets. I grew up with many of them, and I'm happy to be a kitty mom. It brings my life a great deal of joy. Ah! 30 seconds is up. Next question. Who's your favorite singer or band? Oof, this is a hard one. Um, classic favorites of mine include Band of Horses. I love Death Cab for Cutie. <laughs> this is getting real personal now. I enjoy uh, a fine iron and wine tune now and again. Really melancholy music is my favorite. Um, just anything that makes me feel 
forlorn and sad, that's what I go for. Next question, what do you do for fun? <laughs> God, I really do feel like I'm on a speed date. I'm sweating. Uh, I, um, I love to learn foreign languages. I uh, really enjoy speaking Italian and learning Italian. I take a weekly private Italian lesson. I really enjoy traveling, which um, allows me to put those foreign language skills to use. I really like to read. I really like to go vintage shopping. <laughs> not a flattering dating interview. I sound so lame. And I really like to drink. Next question. I think there are five of these. What do you treasure most? Oh gosh, getting deep. I really treasure loyal friends and family. I really treasure my significant other and my cats that I mentioned. Yeah, I really treasure authenticity just other people, other people who have done me right and who stand by me. I think at the end of your life, if you can look back and say, I loved those people and they loved me, that's what's worth treasuring. Next question, Ta tell me about your first crush. Oh, saucy. Do I wanna mention his name? My first crush was a boy, I'll call him Pete. Um, we met during a community play. Uh, he was playing the Beast in a beautiful production of Belle's Christmas, which is the Christmas edition of Beauty and the Beast, and I was playing a pillow. He was like six years older than me. I think I was nine and he was like 15. Really scandalous. I loved him. And we're done. Okay, so now it's gonna evaluate my speech. Oh, how exciting! I'm 98% articulate. <laughs> this is cool. So it gives you a breakdown of how many filler words you use, what your speech pace was, and how many words you spoke. So I'm 98% articulate, but my pace was a bit slow. So then you can choose to analyze your session to see exactly which filler words you used and how often you use them. I used like four times. I used so once just twice, and I used right once. Interesting. Yes, my pace was slow, but I feel, I feel comfortable with that. Something to think about. Not to be too careful when you're talking to avoid filler words, that's a good tip. Then you can choose to save the session if you wanna refer back to it and maybe track your progress. So that's the app. Um, I think it's really fun to play with. Regardless of whether you think filler words are a problem or you wanna get rid of them, I just think it's really fun to have an objective party evaluate your speech. I don't know exactly how accurate this was, but I can watch the footage back and cross-reference. And if you are sensitive about using filler words, if you've gotten some feedback from interviews or teachers or a boss maybe that you need to work on your eloquence, then maybe this could be of use. The app is 99 cents in the app store, so you have to pay for your personal speech coach in your back pocket. But for the hours of fun you can spend with like so, I think it's worth it. I mean, if you're a nerd like me, if you're just interested in learning about your own speech, I think it's super interesting. <laughs> all so much for watching this episode of The Dirty Word and I want to know your thoughts. Do you want to see more reviews of language technology? I thought this was really fun so I would love to do more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and remember, stay dirty.